Tuesday, November 5th, 2019. Uh, roll call, uh, we got Dan, Megan, McCoy, Debbie, Dr. Rice, Kathy and Jane, full house today. Item number three is the approval of the agenda. The only thing I would want to add to this is under the new business, um, and it's a uh, topic on the Tree City renewal. So I didn't have that when I sent it out, but that's this month, and also I'll just touch on it. There's nothing there but information to share. So um, with that, do we have a first and a second to approve the agenda or any other comments on it? Motion to approve the amended agenda. Is there a second? Agenda approved with the uh, addition of the Tree City topic under new business. Item number four, this is the approval of the minutes. This is, these are the minutes from October 1st, 2019, which was a Tuesday. <clears throat> We have a first for approval. Do we have a second? Second. And with that, the, uh, for, oh, first and second vote. All in favor to approve. Yes. Approved. Section five, old business. Um, so this past weekend we had the um, barbecue in the park fundraiser, pork in the park. And uh, I think just today saw the final tally of proceeds for that, which came to $11,619, which was pretty remarkable. And also, um, my understanding is it's already, they're looking at scheduling uh, a second annual one next year in we October. Have a, we have a tentative date of November the 17th, I mean, October the 17th, I believe. That's tentative. October 17, I believe. Any other comments or questions on that particular topic? That figure was... Yes. Next item, uh, 5.2, updates and discussion, history, village, event. Um, a couple things to talk about, I guess maybe three things. One is um, we'll have a flyer, you know, I did a Facebook teaser post maybe a week ago, um, but we're, I want to create a, a PDF flyer that we can post that'll have more information, for example, a parking map, a um, little more detail around the definition of the hours and some of the types of things that you can engage in while you're there. Um, the other interesting tidbit is um, I was walking around at the barbecue this weekend and talked to a couple of other people about that event and they have just gotten sponsorship. So they, um, we originally talking about the photographer cost, that's now fully funded by citizen donations. So that was very good. Um, the third item on that one, I got an email, uh, maybe, a, maybe within the past couple of days from a person who's interested in um, I guess they sell um, specialized, maybe high-end, fancy greeting cards, holiday cards, and they have a program, I guess they do fundraising with schools and other um, organizations, wherein 43% of that revenue goes to the benefactor agency. And she's asked if she could come out and set up a booth during the um, Santa festival out there, it's a holiday festival. I guess my first thought is I don't really have an objection to that but I wanted to see what anybody else might think about that. Did you get an email as well? No, I didn't Okay. Is that something we need to clear with the city first? I don't know. It wouldn't hurt. I don't know either. From a legal perspective, I just, it's new, new to me. So, so this person sets up a booth to do their work and a percentage goes to That money would go to the uh, playground fund. Okay. That would go to First Bank's cat, you know, account. <clears throat> and do we know what percentage or anything like that? Forty-three percent is what she told me, and and so I don't know that that's the only way they do business. I, I got the impression that sometimes they might have kids for the football team go sell them door to door or another organization. This is just something that she asked, could she do it and and uh, try to raise funds. So what I can do is send a note to the city manager with that request or for more information, what's the proper way to make sure that I would everybody's it, good? I would send it to the city manager just make sure it's cleared. I mean, if, there, if it's a vendor, 
on city property that's not a city approved vendor, I would just clear it. <clears throat> I'm just making notes. Um, and that's all I had on that topic, unless there are questions. Through, through, donors. through donors, that's right, that's right. 5.3 old business, we touched on this um, at the last meeting, it's the rules and bylaws, um, kind of the consolidated version of what was the tree commission and what was the parks board into the parks and landscape board and i guess i would ask debbie if she's got any updates today on that do i understand that question yeah, yeah so i know that you were working on combining those and so i'm wondering where where i am on that yes exactly i've looked at them the end <laughs> So what we need to do, we've, we've got them now. We've got the, both copies, and they're both in. I, I converted one of them um, a couple of weeks ago. It was an old scanned PDF. had that converted into an um, actual text document, like a Word document, so that we could cut and paste. Um, so we've got those raw documents now. And I've actually reviewed it and sent notes back and forth with Debbie looking at it, because what we're trying to do is just bring it together into one document, present it here so that we can all read it and vote on it to say we, we adopt it, we like it, then it would go forward to the BOC and, or the city manager. I'm not sure what happens if it goes to the BOC or if the city manager takes it, but ultimately we've got to deliver it to the city manager to take the next action. We need to do that before the end of the year. So if we can get that accomplished and have that vote at our next meeting, that would allow it to be turned in and still have a couple of BOC meetings under the belt before the end of the year for any other things they would need to uh, do with it. Is that my job? Is that well, my it's it's we it's somebody's job. <laughs> if you're volunteering, that would be wonderful. No, 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 no. I was not necessarily volunteering, but since I got asked about it, I thought I would ask if that's my job. Um, it can be. Okay. And I can help. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would think, too, um, just because it will be a little bit longer than maybe what our minutes are, um, if we when, we when we get that rolling, maybe go ahead and send it out through email to everybody so they can pre-digest it and have their thoughts so you're not just hit with it and trying to think about it right on the spot and we can bring any changes back. Um, I think the biggest one was the parks, and I think it was... Lots of pages. Was it? 13, maybe. Jane, how many pages? I don't know about the parks. The tree board, I think, was about 13. Uh, the parks was 13. The tree is, is, is even... Massive. Yeah, but, but even... Um, the good thing is, you know, we'll have the tree stuff and keep it preserved, and what we're endeavoring to do is bring in the park stuff that is different, um, that has different charges than what were in the tree, so we're just expanding that out, and then changing some fundamental things like the board makeup, how many members we have, how they're sourced. Those things have changed when the board combined. So it's more about the mechanics and not missing some of the charges that were laid out for the for really the park piece. We want to bring that over and incorporate it into the tree piece. So it's combined. So is there a lot of duplication? Not really. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there might be a duplication. You've got a massive paragraph talking about when we meet and how, but really it's down to the one sentence that says it's on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Or a big that talks about how the member's structured, but it narrows down to its five members. You know, one comes from here and one comes from there. So, so do you want to put that on the calendar now to work on that, for me and you to work on that? Yes. And I just happen to have my calendar. Do you have your calendar? Um, yes. You have that stricken look on your face. So, um, this Sunday, next Sunday, either of those days good? This coming Sunday? Um, 
can it be later? Like later Sunday? Yes. Yes. Okay. Super late. Five-ish? That works. Six-ish? Okay. Let's shoot for five, and then if something comes up, we can move it. Because I'm out of town. Okay. Yeah, I know that feeling. Making a note? So am I. Section six, new business. This is the one that I did add an item to when we started. This is related to the um, Tree City Annual Renewal. And um, this exercise uh, will be quite a bit gentler than the first qualification exercise because all I'm really doing is updating um, some stuff that's changed regarding budgets, uh, the, the dollar items, the spend they require uh, annually for tree and tree maintenance types items. So what I'll do is I'll take last year's numbers, uh, run those against the city manager to ask him that what changes may be reflected, and then upload those new spreadsheets, and then refresh the form and send it in. The deadline for turning that in might be January the 3rd, but I want to get it in, you know, in November. Um, uh, it won't, I don't think it'll take long, and then it goes through an approval process, and I think we find out in February or March or something after they close the that. Of course, I don't expect any problems because we nothing's really changed on our end. Um, but on that topic, um, we do have signs, Tree City signs that we got, and um, I don't know, maybe in the first quarter of last year, maybe in the summer, we had a presentation. And we've, I saw them back there still in the AV room, so it's a matter of trying to get figure out where those need to go and who would need to install them. And I know there's red tape around signage and how close it can be to a road and a variety of other things that somebody else is an expert at. But uh, would that also be maybe a query that I would send to the city manager? To ask or about if that? you will send me a reminder, I'll bring it up at the board meeting there. You know? I'll do that. Let me make a note. <clears throat> that's that that's all I had on the new business section uh, item seven citizens comments if, if so can I get you to come to the microphone because um, since they are taping it now they want to hear it and see something about the um, a, a contract or document of understanding between the um, uh, core team and, and the Friends of uh, Bowie Nature Park. Is that something that, uh, you know, from a fiduciary so all, Is that for tomorrow night? Or? It is tomorrow night. Everything that's specifically park rebuild uh, project is tomorrow night. So the only time that really will come back to us here is uh, I guess if there's some issue that would come back to this board, there's some unsolved issue that can't be resolved, or when uh, such time that the project is ready to make a formal recommendation to this board okay. on the design really would be the next thing that's coming up. Very good. But tomorrow that meeting starts at 6 o'clock, and we will have a presenter here with uh, another playground vendor presentation, followed by some questions and answers, and then... Uh, We've got an agenda, um, kind of um, mechanics agenda for that project that we'll go through after that presentation. Okay, thank you. Oh, no other citizens' comments. Um, let's make sure I'm not missing anything here. Any other comments from, from this board? Thoughts? So with that, uh, the next Fairview Parks and Landscape Board meeting date is a Tuesday. It's December 3rd, 2019, 7 p.m. here. Um, tomorrow, of course, will be the 6 p.m. meeting for the um, for playground project. And then November 30th will be the uh, History Village, um, kind of a chance for people to come in and see it if they haven't seen it. And they've got children that would like some pictures with Santa. We'll have that as well. And we'll post more information about that. And with that, uh, this meeting is adjourned.